Hey guys, welcome back, and I am so sorry for the delay for this video. I wasn't feeling well the past few days, as I mentioned in a post, and I thank you guys so, so much for all of your well wishes. For those of you who did see it and leave me a comment, um, or just sent me positive energy energetically, I thank you. I am feeling a lot better, and I hope that you all are feeling really good. Um, I know that the energies are pretty intense right now. There are a lot of triggers happening, so yeah, just... <clears throat> stay patient, stay grounded, all of that. Um, yeah, okay, so today's reading, this is going to be for Divine Soulmates, Twin Flame Connections, where there is a karmic situation or partner on the side of the masculine. Now, of course, those energies could also resonate for feminines, um, because we all have both masculine and feminine energies anyway, so just take the messages as they resonate for you, also keeping in mind that um the karmic can be anything okay it can be a person it doesn't have to be a romantic partner although i do typically do the reading as if it is a romantic partner because i feel like that's just what most of my viewers resonate with but of course it could be any group of people any person a relative or a situation a job an addiction etc so yeah that is it um, the reading is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of that information in the description box below this video. And if you are interested in a cord cutting session, you can just email me or you can just go to my community page and you can find a couple of posts um, about those there. All right, so let's see what is going on. We're going to look at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation, their energy towards the feminine, and a quick look at the feminine's energy as well. All right, let's see. All right, we have the sun. It did show up in reverse. I typically don't um, take these oracle cards in, in reverse, but this one is really speaking to me in reverse. I feel like there's a lot of depression. However, on the masculine side right now, they're really feeling that very, very strongly. However, at the same time, um, they're thinking a lot about their happiness and what it means to be happy and what is it that makes them happy. Um, let me just use a different deck. Let's get a, a couple more. All right, we have balance. Let me just get the rest of them and I will explain. All right, and we also have patience, new direction, and pride and ego. Okay, so like I said, a lot of depression here, but also thinking about wanting to come out of that depression, really thinking about what it is that would make them happy and realizing how important happiness is. Now, for some of you, I'm also getting a very specific message here that the masculine is very much thinking about um, wanting to have a child with you. Okay, so again, just a very specific message for some of you. And for some of them, this could even be that they're feeling um, like time might be running out. I, I feel like that's kind of going with the patience card. <laughs> and here's Manix. Um, feeling like time is running out for that possibility or for that potential to be able to have um, a child with you or to enjoy the children that you might already have or I don't know something along those lines okay for some of you um, the good thing here is I'm seeing a very very positive message in all of this is that the masculine is finding their balance in terms of believing that they actually can have this happiness wanting things to be in balance wanting to bring balance into their lives yes um it does feel like it's taking a little bit of time and it already has taken some time but i feel like this is them feeling ready to move in a new direction in order to have that happiness i'm even seeing this pride and ego card in a very positive light actually right especially having that sun being the fir the very first card out this is pride and ego in the good way kind of like um, beginning to believe in their own selves and <clears throat> feeling pride in what it is that they want to accomplish you know kind of like you know what no this is what I want this is what I'm gonna go after like it, it, it's it's playing out like that um, taking pride in what they want is this will especially resonate for those masculines who may have felt 
um, guilty in the past for their situations that they're in, if they were to leave or if they were people pleasers, it's gonna resonate specifically for those. All right, um, I see that a lot of them are also just removing the negative aspects of pride and ego because they're taking that new direction. So using pride and ego in a different way, which is ultimately more productive. So yeah, Mannix is just wanting to be in this video. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see what is the masculine's energy more specifically towards their karmic situation or just what is going on in their lives outside of the feminine. Um, trying to make some space for Mannix to possibly... Yeah, there he is. See, I knew it. I know what he wants. <laughs> as soon as I made it more comfortable for him over there, he went over there. All right, so masculine's energy. What's the karmic situation? What is going on overall? What do we need to know? So we have the King of Wands in reverse, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, so overall, they're, they're feeling like whatever it is that is going on in that karmic situation, it's not resonating with them. They, they feel like they have no, actually it's like they're feeling like they don't even have um, power or control over the situation, like it's just kind of moving on its own so however that makes sense maybe for some of you if you know more details about your masculine situation that might make sense um, but that's what i'm getting here um, again i'm getting this essence of being patient at the moment but it's a very strange kind of a patience it's not like it, it's not coming in with an essence of delay or procrastination it's more of being patient for certain things that need to play out. <clears throat> because I also see this energy of just feeling like, you know, there are certain things that they, they cannot control, as I said. Something that is just needs to move in a certain way. Um, and so those things that they cannot control, it's kind of like they just need to wait, wait those things out. So that's what I'm getting here. Um, and the good thing again, um, as I was saying before, and it's showing up again about the guilt, it's like they're not feeling guilty. It's like finally there's this essence of um, me, you know, that self-love. Like I need to put myself first. And so it's like they're not feeling this sorrow or a sense of loss or a sense of guilt, not even a sense of regret anymore. So again, I'm getting a very specific message um, for, for some of them that for those who may have felt like, you know, I made a mistake um, being with this person or being in this situation and I regret it, but, you know, now I have to face my consequences, like I made my bed, now I have to sleep in it, which is not a good way, it's not a productive way of thinking. Those who were thinking along those lines are now not thinking like that anymore. That's the new direction. Now it's like, no, you know what? I don't regret it. There was a reason for that happening. And I can move on from this. So they're not sulking in the situation anymore. Because again, there's this very optimistic attitude that they're taking that they want to find their happiness and feeling like they can. Knowing it's not here, right? With that King of Wands being in reverse. Just waiting something out. All right, so let's move on. Let's see if we can get more specific here. What's going on in their headspace concerning this person or situation that they're in? I mean, I know I can clarify and get more details here, but I, I almost feel like it's these details for what it is that they're waiting for what they're waiting to play out. It's going to be so different for each of you. So if you want more details, you can always get a personal reading. All right, that's what they're there for. Um, all right, so temperance in reverse, the three of cups and the lovers. Oh, 
Okay, so again, this essence of feeling like time is running out, even even when it comes to the karmic situation, feeling like, you know, time is up. Time is up. Like if we were going to be happy, if we were going to come back together, meaning that, you know, since they're already unhappy in that situation, right? If there was any hope or any possibility of them reuniting and making things work and being in this lover's energy or having this, you know, like things being the way maybe that they once were or things just being happy and light, that would have already happened, all right? Because temperance is in reverse. It's like, yeah, time is up. If that was going to happen, it would have already happened. So that's what they're thinking, knowing it's never going to happen. Like they're never going to have that happiness. So the message I'm getting here um, is specifically for this group. Um, I feel like, you know, they may have had some back and forth with this karmic partner or situation. Um, and it's like, yeah, it's, it just hasn't gotten to, you know, where it should have. There is no balance. And that's why now the masculine is seeking that balance. I'm also getting that for some of them, there have been like extremes here with this, with this person or situation, like possibly like a roller coaster going from um, feeling like things are very, very, you know, peaceful and yeah, you know, I can do this and, um, you know, everything is great to things just being very, very rocky, very, very shaky. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. There's definitely a lack of a lack of peace in this connection right now. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, um, <clears throat> they're definitely feeling a sense of detachment. They're feeling single. They're, they're feeling like they're not even a part of this. And it actually it seems like they're communicating this with the Page of Swords. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The emotions are not there. The emotions are done. It's like they're, <laughs> they've been depleted. They've been depleted. Now I'm also getting for some of you that this might be representing a child for some of them if they have, if they have children. And even, even with the child being on their mind or being in their heart, they're still feeling that detachment from the situation or, you know, from um, the relationship with the karmic. So I actually, I do feel like clarifying a couple of these. Especially the last two rows. Let me just move them over so you can see them a little bit better. So let's clarify that second row with them feeling like time is running out or that if they were to be happy there, that that would have already happened. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Star in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so this is causing a lot of anxiety for them, this thought. The fact that, you know, there is no hope anymore. There is, um, it doesn't feel like things can be mended or it doesn't feel like things are hopeful. And, you know, for some of them, even if they're, if, if this is a new karmic partner, it's like they're still feeling this. Some of them um, might have just gotten engaged. It doesn't matter. They're still, they're still feeling like, you know, it's just something that's never going to be happy. And it's creating a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety um, in their minds. I mean, just this idea. For some of them, I'm getting an even more specific message here, especially with the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse, something that is also making them feel um, stressed is that feeling like this person you know, the more that time passes, the worse that it might be for the karmic partner, especially if this is someone that they do care about. So 
you know, feeling like time might be running out for the karmic partner, you know, to eventually be able to um, find something else or to also be happy, like delaying their happiness as well. And so all of this is creating a lot of anxiety in their minds. Like I said, it's not peaceful. It's there. It's not restful at the moment, even though they are finding their balance. And like I said, that's why we have the patience card. You know, it's like taking it step by step. There's certain things that need to play out um, that are not under their control. Um, but definitely feeling Queen of Pentacles in reverse that this person is not is not the person for them for the long term. There is no hope for that, and that thought creates anxiety because they are still there, right? Or they are still in some way. Um, I don't I don't want to say attached because I see this emotional detachment, but maybe they are attached in other ways, not emotionally though. Okay, so let's clarify this bottom row. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Again, um, I'm seeing this Five of Pentacles being in reverse very similarly to that Five of Cups being in reverse. That they're not feeling this sense of loss. They're not feeling. Um, they're not afraid of being alone if they walk away from this connection here. They're feeling very, very detached. Not only that, they're also feeling like, like I said, you know, even if there are, is a family, even if there are children here, um, which I know for a lot of them there there are not, but I'm just saying, even if there is, that they're they're feeling more and more like they're not leaving the, this person or people out in the cold, or that they're not feeling a sense of loss, that they're not really losing anything um, by turning the wheel in a different direction and doing things differently. They're feeling like emotionally, there's nothing they can do. Like I said um, before, even with something else that, you know, there's like, they don't have control over certain things. And one of those things is that is their emotions. There is no turning the wheel back. Feeling like it's just out of their control. This is how I feel, like the Knight of Cups in reverse. Like there are no romantic emotions here or there is no um, a desire to continue on in this relationship in the way that it that it has been. I'm even getting um, I'm getting another message here that for some of them, it's like the um, almost like whatever has been their major like karmic situation or person that has been serving as the obstacle here i feel like that's like pretty much resolved and right now it's like other little karmics are coming into the picture it's like other little karmics karmic situation i know that probably sounds like what the hell um it's hard for me to explain it but it could be like you know little things that are in some way related to the bigger karmic situation but that have taken a back seat or were on the sidelines and now that things are being balanced karmically and resolved with the karmic situation those other little guys that were on the sidelines it's like they're coming into the picture in order to also be resolved so that could actually be what it is that's out of the masculine's control and what it is that they're waiting to play out and again, that's going to be, whatever that is, it's going to be different for each of you. Like it could be, um, God, I can't even think of an example. <laughs> it's just the message that I got. Um, it could be other people, right? Um, and the masculine needs to deal with those. But these are, these are a lot smaller in intensity and significance than whatever their major um, situation was, all right? So it's, it's going to be easy peasy for them now. Um, to deal with those, but I feel like that's something that they're dealing with now. Just other little, smaller obstacles that are coming into the picture to be resolved. Almost like they were waiting. They were waiting for the masculine to get to this point that they are now so that they could come into the picture, resolve those, and then the masculine, you know, can be free of this completely. So that's, that's the message I got here. 
Okay, so let's move on. Let's see the masculine's energy towards their feminine. And I'm very excited to be using this new deck. It is actually, let me show you. Um, and one of my viewers, a very special client, sent it to me as a gift. It's the Divine Canon Tarot, and I love it. I love it. Thank you so, so much. All right, so let's see. Masculine's energy currently towards their feminine. lot here we have the empress in reverse the seven of wands okay, are these going sorry okay the empress is in reverse the seven of wands is in reverse the page of wands is in reverse and the three of swords all right Masculine's energy towards their feminines. Again, I am getting a very, very specific message here. Um, which is, again, it's only going to resonate for some of you. So just, just ignore this, okay? It doesn't mean that the rest of the reading is not for you, all right? Just ignore this if it doesn't, if this part doesn't apply to you. But I'm getting very strongly, um, with now seeing the Empress in reverse, what I was saying in the very beginning with the very first Oracle cards, the masculine feeling like, time is running out in terms of creating something with the feminine whether that be a child that was the first example that came to my mind all right when I first talked about this but and, and I feel like this is just being confirmed you know like spirits really wanting to get that message out there with them for being in reverse it doesn't have to be a child all right necessarily it could be any project it could be like oh you know like a work um, project, you know, that the two of you could do together that maybe you had discussed in the past. It could be just about anything, but the masculine is feeling like they're running out of time um, and that that needs to somehow take place. And so because of that, they're releasing resistance. They are um, releasing resistance <clears throat> to, to the feminine. Um, Kind of like realizing with this page of wands being in reverse that the, you know they th that this needs to take off and that it hasn't taken off and that there has been a delay in initiating whatever this project is or even if it's just in terms of you know giving birth to your union like it could even be that for some of you um for others of you just to say something a little bit more general here this is them feeling like you know they're just losing you right Time is passing, you're moving on. For others, this is them releasing resistance to trying to convince themselves that you are not their divine counterpart. So for those who have been in denial of you being their divine counterpart, they are removing the resistance to that, letting their guard down to that notion that the feminine has been the empress in reverse knowing that that was just a defense mechanism. So they're releasing that defense mechanism, which again is going back to the pride and ego, which like I said in the very beginning, that's them actually releasing that. And I, I think that's the first time I'm saying that with the pride and ego card. Like every single time we've gotten that card, I have always said, oh, that's them holding on to ego, <laughs> right? Like this, this masculine is very prideful and, you know, is only concerned about status and being right and, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the first time that I'm actually saying this and it's being confirmed here with the seven of wands being in reverse, feeling like things have not taken off. And because things have not taken off, because they feel like time is running out um, for them and their feminine, it's creating a lot of pain. Three of swords. All right. So feeling um, a lot of pain towards you, for some of them, it could, this, I'm getting more messages here. Um, for some of them, if you have been dating or if you have been engaging with other people, um, this is them feeling heartbroken about that as well. All right, so let's see, what is going on in their headspace? Okay, 
was way too many. So I'm just gonna take these first two and I will ask for one more. We have, ooh, the sun, the queen of swords. Let's get one more, please. High Priestess. Again, I have <laughs> cards are a little slippery it's just until they get a little broken in, uh, but this is the one I feel wanted to come out. We have the Sun, the Queen of Swords, and the High Priestess, okay, for what is going on in their headspace or what they are thinking in terms of their feminine. So very interesting, right? We have the Sun being the very first card out for our Oracle cards, um, then thinking about their happiness. So what is it that they think will make them happy? It is the feminine, right? Because the Sun is now showing up on the feminines um, on the feminine side, right? The, the masculine's energy towards their towards the feminine. There's a lot of the way that they're seeing you and the way that they're thinking about you right now is in terms of a lot of respect. And not only that, um, I actually am getting here. We haven't looked into the feminine's energy yet, but I'm getting that the feminine has been either setting boundaries, whether that be in the physical, like if you have been in contact. Or if there is a way for you to physically set boundaries, you know, or verbally, um, or even if it's just energetically, right? So if you have just made the decision, even in your mind, that you know what, I'm not going to accept this, this, and this, or I'm not going to allow myself to be um, consumed by toxicity or by, you know, this situation, then that's working on an energetic level and the masculine is actually acknowledging that and recognizing that. And so because of that, right, there's this the sense of respect, which if you're not in communication, they might not even understand why they're feeling this respect for you, but it's because you are demanding it on an energetic level. All right, so not only are they thinking in terms of <clears throat> you know, respect and just thinking <clears throat> about certain things logically because I do also get a sense of clarity here that they're having, that, like they're very, very certain and they're very, very clear about the fact that you are their happiness and you are what would give them that, but they're also really feeling that intuitively with the high priestess. Now, because the high priestess is not very communicative, I do get that for a lot of them, they might not be expressing this to you, at least not to this extent, because with this sun card, to me, this is, and it coming out twice, to me, this is actually very, very intense. Like, the masculine is really feeling like, yes, you know, the feminine is what I want, the feminine is what would make me happy. Not to mention, the sun card coming out again, it goes back to what I was saying about creating, right? What I was saying with the, um, Initial sum card where I was talking about, um, you know, either children or project in combination with the Empress. So again, <laughs> I feel like there's just some of you out there where, you know, this is actually, you know, an issue. Or maybe you have talked about having children together in some way um, with your masculine. This is heavily on their mind right now. And there's a lot of clarity about what it is that they want and how much they want you. And they're feeling it again, both on an emotional level um, intuitively, but then also realistically. So again, and I feel like whatever, you know, obstacles there may have been between the two of you, regardless of the karmic, just any like, um, misunderstandings or any, you know, doubts as to how the two of you could be together. It's like the masculine is cutting those out, kind of like being able to rationalize in the good way through whatever excuses there were or whatever differences the two of you might have and saying that i think i did have the two of yeah the two of swords had flipped over in reverse here um while i was while i was shuffling trying to get this row um completely forgot about it but that two of swords now really makes a lot of sense like whatever differences the two of you have had it's like the masculine's like cutting through those like you know what those don't matter happiness love that's what's important here all right so let's see emotionally. We will get it one more go, or I will just pull from the top because <clears throat> I think this deck wants to be pulled from the top. <laughs> actually all right let's see oh okay no there we go okay 
one more, please. All right, we have, ooh, okay, strange energies here, but they will make sense. We have strength in reverse, the hanged man in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and then we have death sideways, which I'm seeing it as actually being upright. All right. Again, strength being in reverse, a lack of patience, feeling like time is running out. That is just, <laughs> I feel like the major theme here. Feeling like time is running out, um, but having to be patient through it. Yeah, so it feels contradictory, but it's like that's what it is. It's like feeling like like time is running out, like, you know, we need to get going here. Um, things need to take off. We need to take that new direction, which I feel is um, being represented also by this death card. Um, but then also feeling like, you know, um, but there's something here I need to wait for. But feeling that impatience about it. We have the hanged man in reverse. Um, they don't want to be stuck anymore. They don't want to wait anymore. <laughs> See, I mean, it's just showing up again here. And again, with the emperor being in reverse, feeling like, you know, this is something that is out of their control. So whatever it is that's out of their control and feeling like they need to wait it out, it's actually in some way applying both to their karmic situation as well as to their feminine. And it could be that it applies to their feminine just because it's something that applies to their karmic and so it affects their feminine but that's what they're feeling here they're feeling like they almost like you know they wish that they could do something wanting to do something you know to like either either to let you know but you know then but they're not they're keeping quiet here and i feel like it's because you know they just don't want to speak prematurely um but it's like this wanting to do something but feeling like they can't like that they need to just um, keep it on the down low right now. Holding a low profile. Um, because it, it's like they just can't do anything about it, so there's nothing that they can really say or, or do towards you. But what they do know and what they are feeling here is that something has shifted big time. Now, one of those things that has shifted, all right, that, that's the second message here, because I always get double messages, is the fact that they have felt weak the fact that they have felt stuck and holding back and just constantly um trying to see it this way trying to see it that way but then ultimately not acting on it not taking charge that's done they're done doing that but this is also representing them seeing the, the feminine in a very different way than before and i feel like it goes back to them having cut out any um, false illusions or just false beliefs concerning the happiness that they could have with the feminine. All right, so <clears throat> really interesting. Um, I don't feel like I need to clarify anything. I feel like I'm just going to get a couple of oracle cards for the feminines. I'm not going to get into it too much because I do feel like we've got some messages for the, for the feminines um, about your you setting boundaries. Um, and we will look into the feminine's energy in more detail in the next reading, which hopefully will be on Sunday. Um, so yeah, just we'll just take a quick look at the feminine's energy and then see what is coming up. So let's just see anything that the feminines need to know. We have seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. All right, so that is the crown chakra. I feel like, you know, you you are getting a lot of downloads right now. You are getting a lot of messages. Um, not only that, your intuition is sky high at the moment. Trust it. Trust it. Use it. Believe in it. Um, first, for some of you, you know, it's like you are, your, your spiritual awakening has gone to another level here. And this is positive. Um, but I'm also getting, you know, that you, there's a lot happening. Let me just get a couple more. So, like, if you are having some, um, let's see, <laughs> union. 
Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, especially if this reading was resonating, like, you know, you know that union is like, you know, it's like right there. But then if you, if you're in this group, you're also going to feel a sense of detachment from it at the same time, which can be a little contradictory and it can be a, a little confusing because like you're feeling it. So you're like, you, you know, you're wanting it. But then at the same time, it's like you're not the way that you used to be. So it can be a little confusing for you, but just, you know, no, it doesn't really matter. Right, we have release and we have reinvention. Exactly what I just said, you know, you have released this. You have released the connection and because of that, there is this reinvention, that death card, you know, like things kind of starting afresh. There's like this new beginning here and you know that deep down and the more that you tune in, the more that you are in this energy. Now, again, it, it, this can be a little confusing and there have been a lot of triggers for the feminine right now, know that they're happening so that you can gain more knowledge and wisdom, all right, about releasing this. For a lot of you, it, couldn't even, it can even feel like you're being tested to see how much you have released the concept of union, the attachment to it, right? It doesn't mean you don't want it, right? If this is your divine counterpart, you know, chances are, you know, you are going to want it, right? Um, not always, it really depends. But yeah, so just take this as encouragement to keep releasing and if you feel like you haven't been because it can get confusing you can get confused by your desire you know um know that it's okay you are still releasing you are reinventing it's a process it doesn't just happen from one day to the next okay um Yeah, and there's always going to be these little triggers that come in to confuse you, but just stay grounded, stay on your path. You are reinventing yourself. All right, so let's see what is coming up. Ooh, and this reading is actually longer than I expected. All right, um, what is coming up in the near future? Masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. All right, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. So, um, near future is like a week, okay, just until the next video, or maybe two weeks. Again, time is relevant, so it, you know, it could be a little bit off for some of you, or it could be different. And then again, I mean, these readings are timeless, all right? Like you could watch this a year from now and it could resonate for you. So it really just depends. Um, also from the time that you watch this video or when you feel called to it as well. I feel like there's this period coming up of processing. There's um, taking some time to just process what is happening like I said before like something that they're they, that they need to wait out I feel like yeah like they're waiting it out all right in the next week or so they're waiting it out patiently or at least trying to be patient <laughs> look at that um, what are those things called the hourglass there's a little hourglass also in this four of swords in this deck um, which I feel like is very representative of what we've been talking about right like feeling like time is running out but that they need to be patient whether they like it or not at the moment it, it's almost like this ace of swords in reverse it's like there's there's nothing they can do right now it's like they've done what they needed to do up until this point now there's a period of time where things certain things need to play out that are out of their control like they've already done what they need to do for now and then once that time is up once they're done waiting out for whatever it is that they're waiting out you know then comes the next step or then comes the next chapter to see what's going to play out. I really feel like this is like a cliffhanger, but that's what it is, right? Um, Eight of Cups in reverse. They can't walk away just yet because they're patiently waiting for something that needs to play out, but it's not procrastination on their side. All right, it's not. So yeah, that's, that's what's coming up. Sorry, it wasn't anything more exciting, um, but that's what it is. All right, so I'm really curious to see what's, what we're going to get um, 
two weeks from now or even in the next reading because the, the readings that I do that are just for um, masculines and feminines without the karmic like of course those energies can still apply to masculines who are involved in karmic situations all right um, and again you know keep in mind that some of these energies if you are involved in a karmic situation, a lot of these energies can apply to you as well. And maybe the feminine's karmic situation, again, could be a career, could be a job, it could be family, you know, it could be a group, um, it could be anything. So let's see the masculine's energy coming up towards their feminines next week or so. Why am I not surprised to see temperance? This, this, it's like, yeah, time, patience, time, impatience. Ah, all right, Knight of Wands in reverse, justice in reverse, and temperance. Yeah, again, same freaking message. Same freaking message. They're not able to do anything right now. They just can't do anything. All right, coming up, like they've already done what what needs to be done. Um, they're up to par on their end of things. All right, for this group. However, they do feel like things are off with their feminine because they feel like they still need to balance something out. They still feel like they need to make things right and that they can't get. And so they're feeling like, you know, they're being forced to be patient. They're being forced to find that balance and just wait it through and everything is going to happen when it should. And when the time is right, they, I feel like, you know, this, this justice card being in reverse, they're really feeling the injustice that has played out um, towards their feminine. They're feeling that very, very strongly. And so I feel like that's one of the other things that's making them impatient because they're feeling like I need to make this right. I need to make this right with my feminine. Feeling like, you know, you have been, um, what's the expression in English? Cause I, I don't live in the States. I only use English just when I talk to a couple friends and <laughs> you guys, um, that in injustice has been served <laughs> to the feminine, right? That is going to be very much on their minds, all right, coming up. But again, feeling like they can't do much and that they need to wait it out and that they have to be patient in order to make it right. Okay, so let's get the final oracle card to close this out. And if this reading made sense to you, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on in your situation or just any thoughts you might have. All right, let me see. Final message for feminists in this, or even masculine's group. We have blessed. Which to me is like the star card, which gives a lot of, um, you know, it's all about hope and it's all about wish fulfillment. And this is also a message of encouragement, knowing that you have divine support, okay, through this, because this is a difficult time period. So you, you are blessed, which means you do have guidance, you do have support. The connection is even blessed. Um, and this is, you know, this is also a card of healing. So also take this as encouragement to, you know, continue on on your healing because you are. And everything is moving in the way that it needs to. This is like one of my favorite cards from this deck. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm leaving it at that. I thank you all so much for watching and much love.